If I was to say to you, you've never seen the moon, it's all just an optical illusion. You'd think I was uh, kind of losing the plot a little bit. Well, in actual fact, guys, it is. And after watching this video, I'll prove it to you. Hello, welcome to my channel, Small Optics. My name is Jason. Now, <clears throat> a little change to the uh, planned video I was intending of putting up today. Uh, as you can see, I am still sat down, which means I still have back issues, but it is getting better. Uh, so we'll be back up and running and back to normal uh, normality uh, in no time, hopefully. <laughs> Uh, so today I thought I'd do something a little bit different. We'll have a little bit of fun and uh, this is a uh, Like I say, it's, it's, it's a great thing to try this as a, at a party or just to go out and try it yourself but if, just with a few friends and uh, Do it as like a, a little bit of a challenge if you like um, it, it can be a lot of fun now the first time I saw this little experiment if you like um, was uh, Back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s, uh, on a, a show called The Sky at Night, which you've probably heard me mention many, many times on this channel, which you'll probably hear it mentioned many, many more times because it's, <laughs> it's just, there would probably be no small optics if it wasn't for The Sky at Night and uh, Patrick Moore. And uh, he did this little experiment, like I say, way back in the uh, late 80s, early 90s. And uh, this is how the experiment went. And you can try this yourselves. Like I say, you don't have to have a group of people around you. Uh, but uh, just, just try this little experiment out for yourselves and you'll be, you'll be quite surprised with the results. Now, the way Patrick did it, he was on his beach in Selsey. And uh, this beach was pretty, particularly the pebbled beach. And uh, it was a nice, big, bright, full moon up in the sky. And uh, he was surrounded by about, I don't know, 10 or 12 people. And uh, what he did is he, is, is he said to each person, he said, I want you to turn around, have a look at the moon and estimate roughly the size of the moon. And then look at the pebbles on the beach and to pick up a pebble that you think that when held out at arm's length, oof, did you hear that? My elbow crack then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm falling to pieces, folks. Um, so, uh, yeah, get a, get a stone that when you hold it out at arm's length, it will totally cover the moon or completely eclipse the moon. Um, or to only just cover it, if you like. Now, uh, so everybody did this. They looked, they looked at the moon, they looked at the pebbles, and they each picked up a pebble that they thought when held up at arm's length would cover the moon or the full moon that's up in the sky. Now the sizes of these pebbles varied from baseball size to grape size, you know, and uh, in actual fact the size of the pebble, I should have it quite handy here, I'll break a piece off here. <laughs> this was amazing, it blew me away this. The size of the pebble you actually need to cover the entire area of the full moon in the sky held at arm's length is football sized, plate sized, no, about that big. <laughs> I know, I know, I, I didn't believe it as well. But believe it or not, a little tinsy tiny stone, this is a stone in actual fact, it's a piece of blue tack I've just picked up, but uh, a little tiny piece of blue tack or a little stone like this, if you were to hold this at arm's length, close one eye like that and hold it, it would actually eclipse the full moon. Now, so, <laughs> like I say, you've got to try this to believe it. And if you've never tried it, you'll be like, you know, be thinking, no, that can't be. I've seen the moon. It looks huge sometimes in the sky. And even when it looks huge, as you may say, in the sky, try it and you'll be surprised. You'll still need a very, very tiny little stone. So why is this? How, how can this possibly be? Well, it's a complete and utter optical illusion. When we look at the moon, we're not actually seeing it as it truly is. Um, well, the size of it, uh, should I say. And the reason being is, uh, A, the size of it, uh, and B, how far away it is. I mean, it's over 200,000 miles away, okay? And this thing is it's pretty big. 
<laughs> all right the moon's quite a big quite a big lump of rock and as human beings we're used to dealing perspective like for instance if we're close up to a building for instance a, a large building it looks huge all right but you go, you know, a mile away from that building, that building then becomes smaller. It looks a lot smaller in distance. And this is because how the eye and the brain are connected and it's dealing with perspective. Okay, and, and, and this happens right from, like, like I say, from, from birth, basically. Our, our brains are dealing with this. But with the moon being actually not in our atmosphere, it's in outer space, if you like, and being so huge and uh, bright in the sky, our eyes can't deal with the size of it. They can't deal with the perspective side of things. So they make something up, as daft as it sounds. And they make the moon appear a lot bigger, or, well, I say they, our eyes, uh, may, seem to make the moon appear a lot bigger than it actually is. And just doing this little stone experiment proves this fact. Now, this is one of the reasons why um, the, when the moon's just rising or just setting on the horizon, it will sometimes look huge. And that's just it. It looks huge, but it isn't. It never changes size. Now, the moon does alter in size occasionally because it's on what's called an elliptical orbit, and sometimes it comes closer and, and further away to Earth. But it, that won't happen on the duration of a night, okay, from like the moon rising and setting. And this is what I mean by that. Um, so when the moon's low, it's going to look big. And it's it, all this um, perspective uh, side of it that I've been talking about is, is exaggerated because now you've got like, uh, you've got landscape in between you and the moon. You've got trees, you've got houses, you've got fields. The moon would even look big on the ocean with just the ocean uh, as it's like um, foreground because you've still got that perspective side of things where the brain just can't cope with it. And it's, like I say, it's just purely an optical illusion. Um, and for instance, like if you look at this picture here, here. Uh, you can see there's a series of lines going in straight lines and then two curved lines on the uh, top and bottom. But in actual fact, they are, those curved lines are perfectly straight lines. It's just an optical illusion. And if you don't believe me, pause the video, put a ruler on there and you'll see what I mean. And this is just how the brain deals with uh, this perspective of the moon. Uh, like I say, it's, it's a fun thing to try this and it's not a lot of people are aware of it. You know, they think that you need like a quite a huge stone, especially when there's a big full moon up in the sky. And it'll, it'll really will surprise you by just how small. I mean, you can just use the tip of your pinky if you like. You can hold that up and that will actually cover the full moon. Anyway, guys, I thought I'd just share this one with you. I, I, it's, a, it's a great bit of fun. I still do it to this day with a few friends. You know, I'll, I'll challenge them. Hey, pick one of these stones up and see. <laughs> but uh, go and give this one a go. You, like I say, you'll have a bit of fun with this one. Well, there you go, guys. There's another video uh, wrapped up. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like the video, then please hit that thumbs up button because it really, really helps the channel. In the meantime, go and have some fun with the moon and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.